What was your name, bro? I have a little demon. How do you spell that? D O N. Oh, yeah. Where are you from originally? Austin. Austin, Texas? Yeah. How'd you get out here? See, uh, I say all the time I came on a train, on a plane, on a train. I flew out here again. You did? Yeah. How do you like it here? It's chill. It's like, it's the sister city of Austin, so it's like similar atmosphere, I guess. It's, it's, it's cool. Well, it's kind of a sim similar? It's, it's, it's kind of similar. Here, people here are hella rude. Oh, <laughs> Uh, so you grew up in Austin, huh? Yeah. You, you, uh, your parents were, you had both your parents growing mm, up? Or? No, I had my mom, my mom and I had a mom and I had a stepdad later on. But my mom, I was just my mom most of my life. Oh, your mom wasn't in your life? No, my mom, just, just, just my mom most of my life. Oh. My dad died in the Gulf War. Was, in the Gulf War? Yeah, when I was like born. Like, oh, well, she was pregnant, like she, he got her pregnant and he immediately deployed and died for a rate before I was even born to it. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Yeah. Well, how, how was it growing up? I mean, it was, it was hard. Dog. My mom fucking, his mom had three kids and just her and no education. So, I mean, I grew up, I grew, grew our own, we grew our own fucking vegetables and ate a lot of fucking, like shit you can grow and not very much, not very much meat, man. A lot of fucking, Squash it and fucking beans and lentils and shit like shit you grow in a garden and like well, 200 acres so it's pretty easy. I mean it's already growing the own stuff goes but it was, it was not an easy childhood. Like breaking, preparing 200 acres by hand by yourself is not easy. No. So you had to work out in the farm, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Did you go to school? No. No, uh, homeschool. Huh. Oh, you're homeschool? Yeah, uh, homeschool. Yeah, yeah. Me, my mom, mom bought a couple of guidebooks and she taught me how to read. I mean, she, she taught me how to read. She taught me how to read really good, but like, I still can't really do math. You still can't do math. You think? I, mean, I, I mean, I can do. I can do like. Let's see, okay, let's be realistic. I can do drug-related math. I can convert grams to dollars, but I can't do um like algebra or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I got my GED, honestly. I have no idea, no idea. I just, I just, oh, you got your GED? Yeah, oh, got cool, GED, man. so. Well, congratulations. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. So, uh, so how, how far did you go to the homeschool? And how... uh, I guess, like, fifth. So I did, I went to, okay, so I went to kindergarten, second, fifth, and eighth grade in public school, and ninth grade in public school, and then the rest, was uh, homeschooled or just, um, just didn't go. And when I was 17, I, was, I got my GED, so. Oh, you got your GED at 17? What, what'd you do after that? I went to prison. You went to prison? Yeah, so I was 23. For what? So I was 23. Oh, what'd you do, bro? Uh, armed robbery, um, not, not even nothing bad. You know, honestly, drug some scumbag, he's a shit drug dealer, Mexican drug dealer. Illegal, 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 illegal immigrant Mexican drug dealer, are you clear? So I don't know why I went to jail, but I was robbing an illegal immigrant Mexican drug dealer, and they sent me to prison. Wow. But you know, 18 years old. So how long you been out of prison, bro? About four years now. Four four, so when I was in when I was in prison in Texas, I read about Oregon. I read a book about the street kids out here and how da 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 is the number one destination of the youth and da da da. So when I got out, I um. I, I just I told my mom she wanted to come out here and she got me a ticket. Three weeks after I got out of prison, I flew out here with not knowing anybody with 70 bucks in my pocket. Been out here almost five years. Wow. Are you, cur are you currently homeless? Um, I'm home free, so. Oh yeah? Do you have any plan to get, get any housing or anything? Uh, I, don't really, I don't really know how, how I go about it. And uh, I do plan I, I do plan on, on going to sober housing for a time. Um, all sober housing? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What, what kind of sober housing? Not like Oxford or something? Something similar. Yeah, something, something similar. Oxford, Oxford, Oxford would be preferential, but like um, the county, whatever, whatever I can get the county to pay for, um, uh, for, for, for free, so I guess what I'm going to do, honestly. It's just like 700 bucks a month to pay for it, Oxford, yeah. so. Oh, that's cool. That's 
school man. So you, so, so you did see so you, uh, did, did your stepdad uh, ever take you camping? Did you guys ever go camping or fishing or anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You guys did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I don't know if she's all, all I think it's the number one, best, number, number one best time. Like, yeah, you're growing up, dude. That was your best time in life? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, dude, that's all I mean, dude. Oh, that's I, cool. I, I, I got, it's, it's all we did. My step would take me to fucking um, national parks. We'd go fucking rock climbing, fucking oh, wow. fishing and all that shit. He, see, he, he, was, he wasn't a hunter, though. He wasn't a hunter. My, my grandpa, um, my grandpa just got into uh, hunting and rifles and stuff recently um, at my urging, but my my stepdad, he's a, we, we, did a lot, we, we did a lot of outdoors, but he wasn't a hunter, so, I mean, we, we, we would go rock climbing and fucking mountain biking and hiking, shit like that, and uh, camping, but as far as hunting goes, that was a uh, pastime with uh, some of my other buddies' families. You guys ever keep in contact still? Uh, I got a couple. I got a couple friends. So, man, when we, 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 we used to fucking run nine miles, nine miles on a dirt road together to go to go get some junk food because your parents were weird ass hippies who wouldn't eat nothing but fucking <laughs> hippie tofu shit. You, you you develop some bonds. You know what I mean? So I got some friends that, 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 I, that I always have. You know, but um, we don't talk too often because I'm I'm on I'm out here on doing drugs and, and not doing. Um, this is what I should be doing all the time, but you know. What, what, what kind of drugs, man? Uh, yeah, I mean, right now. Is everything? Right now, right now, fentanyl and uh, uh man, but yeah, that stuff's been yeah. I see a lot of people. Well, okay, taking over. Hit, hitting that, yeah. Taking over. I mean, heroin. Honestly, like I was sick this morning, and so um, I was trying to get some shit, and like it was heroin, and. I'll say this, the fentanyl is so strong that, you know, after just a couple weeks of using it, doing a 20 of heroin didn't even, give, didn't, didn't affect me at all, it didn't, didn't take the weight sickness at all, it didn't do anything for me, it was good heroin, it, it, it's just not strong enough. Wow. Fentanyl is 400 times the strength of heroin, so. Wow. And they got this new shit out called ISO, which is 40, it's 50 times the strength of fentanyl. Yeah, that's what I heard on the, on the news. Oh, that's just scary. Is that what's going around right now? Uh, what they say? I, I, ISO? Yeah. They're not, they're not gonna call it like they're just gonna call it Fetty, so you don't really you don't really know you know what it is, but I think some of the stuff I've gotten has been that shit because it was definitely super strong, like oh, they don't even tell you, huh? They just Oh yeah, no, they're just gonna call it they're, they're, they're gonna call it whatever brand's marketable and right now Fetty Powder was was marketable, they call it Fetty Powder, so that's wow. that's that's what's more. Wow. Alright man, what you got you got any advice or any uh any quotes that you wanna give anybody? What's it is, man? Being a gangster, being a criminal is not cool. There's nothing cool about it, man. It's nothing cool about fucking doing time. There's nothing cool about fucking doing drugs. It's fucking, doing drugs is fun. Uh, I'll be totally honest, kids. Doing drugs is hella fun. But you know your limits. And if you have a deep personality, you know, you, you, have, you, have, to do, you, have, you have to learn restraint. You have to learn how to, how to do it the right way. You can't, you can't just fucking stay up for two weeks and lose your mind and go insane and not eat and fucking go crazy and fucking, you know, flip out. You learn, you learn, you get responsible for your shit and do it in a way that you're not affecting others, man. Main thing, main thing is, man, can't nobody tell you what to do. Can't nobody judge you but God, and no one has the right to authoritize or domineer or or, 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 or dictate over you or your life it's between you and God. And there is nobody more righteous than yourself. There's nobody who's more right. There's nobody whose opinion is more right than your own than your opinion. But we do live in a, in a framework in a society that has instilled certain individuals with a corrupt and unjust leverage of power over others. And so whether that be the, 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 so the, 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 the civilian bureaucracies all the way to, you know, the, um, you know, Orwellian um, military dictatorship um, side of shit, you know. Um, so, so you can't necessarily always um, exhibit or display your knowledge of, 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 of what's real and what's right so just you know do what you feel is right do what you know is good if you if you, if you can help someone help someone man but don't don't do it if you're doing it for self-serving purposes that's all i'll listen all right thanks bro